Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is the compare functionality that we have on the software. So let's go to the presentation. So in the past when we used Soul Machine before the Machine Expert, we have this functionality to compare, but we need to enable that using the, the tools on the software. Here in the Construction Machine Expert, we already have that functionality uh, easily to see and how to make the comparison. Basically, to make the comparison, what it does is to compare the project that you want with another one located in your laptop. Okay, You can also retrieve from the controller the project if the controller has a source code, and then the software will read it and then it make the comparison. Okay, So if we take a look over here what we got okay um these are the just put the pen so we have to compare that was if we compare two programs okay the option that we have is this one project on disk so we need to specify the projects that are located in our laptop this one i believe is not available okay and then we have also compare with device. This compare with device is what I mentioned. We have project on this, so we will compare two projects in the same laptop. And then we have compare with device that we compare your project in your laptop to the one on the controller. Okay, to the one in the controller, because it's not that it's going to compare directly with the binary code. It will upload from the controller the source code into your laptop and then it would make the comparison okay so that is something that we need to be sure what we're going to do and then in the comparison we have different options on the thing that we can ignore for the comparison you can see over here white space comments and properties so how to make the comparison in our project so it's very simple we just need to go to project and then select compare if we have the two projects in the same laptop or we make compare with device when you have the project in your laptop and then you want to retrieve from the controller the the source code in order to make the comparison okay that's the main difference so here when we open the project on disk okay we just need to define the actual project which is open with the one that we want to compare and then we have the options to the things that we want to ignore once we execute this okay we should be able to see on the left side of the screen the left side i believe mirror the left side of the screen okay your current application and then the other one okay so in order to make this work okay let's just take a look on the software so i have this application oops not this one this one okay i got this m262 over here and i got a few things over here that i just really don't know what it is but let's have it so i have this part just really don't know okay test this and this and let's try to call all of them okay so I can show you the different uh, behaviors that we may have. So um, I already called this on the task, the must, to be called. And then, OK. So I'm going to save the actual project. OK, and I'm going to save in the same location. Save as see the other laptop training number two save so already saved the original um the original is the name training and this one is going to be the training number two so i'm going to convert the training number two project that is actually opened with the previous one the original so i'm going to make some modifications here so uh, here i'm going to specify number five and I'm going to delete this from here. Mm -hmm. This is in the ladder. 
um let's see the gold what i have go 200 and i'm going to uh, trigger let's add a new viewer over here x bull so this one x bull This it doesn't make any sense. I just add code here in the in the logic. Uh, cloning up, uh, and I'm going to delete this output. Okay, and I'm going to specify here two. So I'm going to save the project. Now I'm going to perform the comparison so you can see what it looks like. So close everything. Project compare we also had the compare with device but i have the two projects here in the laptop so compare i'm going to compare now with the one training so here you can ignore the comments and everything uh, i'm going to ignore this one and okay so now we should be able to see the comparison of the project so you can see over here that in this case I have uh, three PLCs and one HMI and it put everything together. So uh, just minimize all this. So you can see here I have the current project, okay, which is our uh, training two, and in the other side is training project, the original one. You can see here the the path. And if I um, expand this part, you should be able to see in red the parts that they have some uh, differences so if we for example let's try with the first one which is this one okay um, logic here you should be able to see the difference the indication of the differences okay you can see here the number five is different to the number zero and this rank is new okay Another thing that we can do is how to change the visualization because um, you can select this one. If I'm not wrong, this one will try to compare all the elements on the same rank. If I uncheck this, it separates all the differences. So it will allow you to uh, check further the, all the new stuff. For example, here it adds a new rank. Okay, just to make the comparison, and then if you want, you can move the code to one side in case you have additional code or something. So I'm going to uncheck this part so it makes the real comparison, and then you can move code from one part to the other. So, uh, okay, so accept single, and it moves from the original code to the new one. Okay, accept. And then here, if you want, I can accept the code. Okay. So now if I save this project now, do you want to commit? Yes, I want to. Yes. I want to save the differences. Okay. And now you can see the code is the same. And I cannot access inside. So let's try now with the text. Okay. Here you can see the same. Okay, and if you want, you can over here and it just define separate the lines. And if you want, you can move over here as a single or a sub block. Okay, so you will move all these together. Okay. And I don't want to accept this. No. So I go back. Okay. So this is the tool basically. Uh, let me just go back to the presentation. So here you can see that this icon is the one that can put everything together in the same line from the two projects. Um, this one will separate. So probably it give you a better idea what the thing that you need to compare. Um, now, a sub single is what I the thing that I show you, okay, you just move one line of the code to one side or the other, and the assembly block it will move all the complete part that we have. Um, 
and here you can move from one side even if it's in this view okay you just move a single line you can move to the other side uh, then in order to validate everything you can close that or go to project and then select the commit accept changes so it will not ask you the message that, that i show you so uh open existing project save it as a new name main modification gbl add a new oh, i already added uh, check behavior ah this is something important because uh when i was testing this and i believe you are going to see it um uh, here i have made a change okay As you can see it's a proper change but in this one okay um i haven't changed anything and if you go back over here two options are equal so um here is some kind of issue uh it's back um i don't remember um that is related to how how is the execution of the code okay uh there is nothing to be worried about if you just go inside you should be able to see there's everything the same which is makes sense uh but there's no bigger issue here okay so um this is how you can make the comparison as you saw is very simple to just compare and then you should should be able to see the difference with the project that you have and then you can move the code from one side to the other and uh, basically that's it so another way to manage your project let me just go back here it will be good if along with this compare you also enable the nbl uh, the supervision okay so you can make like a traceability of the program that you have and how it's going to be changing so on each modification that you are doing but that will be for another topic so uh, this is, is this is is everything about the comparison i believe i spread it pretty fast but it's very simple you can test it uh the idea is that compare two projects that are located in your laptop one can be located on the plc but that plc must have the source code so you, the software can upload into the to your laptop and then make the comparison so this is it see you on the next one Thank you.